Hi guys! So today's video I am very excited for. It is a nose mask that I'm pretty sure I've seen here on YouTube and it looks like it works. And this is what it looks like. I got mine from Ulta, I think it was $3.50. Um, I have tried a lot of nose, like peel off mask sort of things that say, you know, obviously they're gonna like, get your blackheads out and do a really good job of just cleaning up your entire face and that has not been the case at all. Um, my most recent one that I've got was this that I see all over the internet all the time and I think I've seen some people say that's the most painful mask. Um, no, this thing doesn't do anything. It actually, like when you put it on and it dries, it actually like creates holes around your pores. Like it doesn't even cover your pores once it dries. It's not good. It's a POS. It's just not good. But anyways, so this is a three-step nose mask and there's not much English on it. Most of, like, all this is whatever language that is, just this part down here is English. Um, but it looks like it's technically three different, three, two, three different nose strips. Um, pretty much each of them that you keep on for around 15 minutes. They're a little different. Um, but so I'll read you the directions and then you can see me do it. So it says, after washing your face, take out the first sheet from the package, place closely on the nose and remove after 15 to 20 minutes. So that would be this first one right here, which we can go ahead and do. so I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't think my nose has to be wet for the first one. I think that's just for the second one. So we're gonna go ahead, open it up. strawberries or they're just using the strawberry because it has seeds that would be like blackheads. I'm not sure. Oh, it just leaked everywhere all over my table. But um so I am going to go ahead and set a timer. This one says to keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes so I'm gonna set a timer for 17 minutes. Why not? Okay, and I will be back in 17 minutes. Okay, so we are just about to go off. So there, it was 17 minutes. Um, so I guess I can take this off. I'm gonna put it back in there. I think it smells good. Maybe it doesn't. Okay. Now, for number two, it says to keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes. And it says, fully wet the skin around the nose. Remove transparent film from the second sheet with dry hands and place sheet closely to the nose. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes until the nose pack is completely dry and slowly remove the sheet starting from the edge. So I'm assuming this next one is like most pore strips that get hard and you gotta have it wet and everything. So I have my little handy dandy squirt bottle here. So I'm just gonna wet my hands a little bit. Too wet, that all went down my sleeve. Just to wet my nose. Okay. 
Mm. Uh, what the heck? That's good enough, right? Okay. I'm going to peel it open. And be careful when you guys open this one because there was a lot of liquid in there that just like spilled out everywhere. Okay, I'm excited. I hope this really works because what's going on in my nose <laughs> has been there for far too long and I'm done with it. Okay, so I'm just going to peel it off the clear and place on my nose. It's sticky. Okay. Make sure it's in all the crevices. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna kinda, well, I guess I'll scrub my fingers. Just like any other nose strip, you just wanna make sure it's saturated, that way it can dry. Feel that wet, but I think it's good enough. Okay, I definitely want to go like that. You can feel like stuff from the mask. Um. Okay, so oh, I have water in my eye. Xander, stop. Okay, so this one said 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna put it on for a full 15 minutes just because I want to make sure that it works. So my timer is set and has started. Um, and I will see you guys when 15 minutes is up and we will do some peeling. Okay guys, so the 15 minutes has been up. I left it on a little bit longer, um, probably for about 20-ish minutes. Um, there's a little part right here, like literally all right here that hasn't dried yet. Um, I don't think it's going to because I've been waiting a lot longer for it to dry. Um, probably my fault, but let's hope that the rest works. So ignore my shitty skin. Let's start peeling, I guess. There is definitely some stuff in there. It's a bummer because like all right here, like where I really needed it, is where it wouldn't dry. But if you guys can see, if it will focus, there is definitely some stuff on there. Uh, definitely like right here and on the sides looks pretty clear. Mm -hmm. I think I can see where it kind of got some out here. Still some in there, definitely didn't get everything, but that was to be expected. Uh, this is definitely more proof of something than any of the other masks that I've gotten. Um, so we're gonna do the third mask, which each one of them has like this little picture on it. So like that was the first one right there. So I'm assuming that one was to open up the pores. This one was obviously to extract things out of the pores. And this one looks like it's to close the pores. So it says, uh, remove the opaque film from the third sheet. Closely place sheet onto treated nose area. Remove the sheet after five to 10 minutes and gently pat to enhance absorption of the remaining solution. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Assuming this one's gonna be wet too. Mm -hmm. So this one is the last one, obviously, and you keep it on for the shortest amount. Yeah, there's a lot of liquid in there, so be careful. Okay, so it's definitely very wet, if you can see that, probably not, but it's soaking. So peel this off. And then go ahead and place this 
very moist thing right on there. Ooh, it's cold. Alright, and then just because it can't hurt, I'm gonna grab, it's very slippery, very slippery. Yeah, it's extremely slippery. Definitely saturated. And then I'm just going to grab whatever extra is inside here. And just kind of... Because it can't hurt. If it's going to close my pores, close them up. And... I kind of wish... They would invent like a giant pore strip that could go on your entire face. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, I guess I'll start my timer for five in the new tin. Okay, so five minutes is going, even though it said, it said five to ten, but apparently I'm just setting my timer for five. I'm just going to wait after. And after this video, um, I am going to be recording a video of me microblading my eyebrows. I got that done this past summer by uh, a friend who actually lives in Germany. Her name is Amani. She does great work. I will link her social media down below. I think all I have is her Instagram, but she posts a lot of videos and stuff of her clients on there. So I will post that down below. You guys can go check her out. If any of you are in Germany, definitely go check her out. She, I think she does lip tattoos. Um, and I know she does eyelash extensions too. So she does the whole nine yards. Um, but she did my eyebrows. I don't remember when, but she was here uh, in town on vacation, and she was only here for about a week. So on the second day she was here, me and my mom both went and got our eyebrows microbladed, and I was amazed at how great of a job she did. Um, however, I was sick at the time, and normally you have to wait for about think the three to four week mark after your initial appointment and your initial microblading to get touch-ups done so that they can go back in and retouch up any places that might have like not stayed and like flaked off or anything like that but because she was only in town for seven days we had to go like a few days after we got it done so I know me personally I was not healed in a lot of places so I didn't even get touch-ups done um so therefore my eyebrows really didn't last that long. Like they still lasted like in here, that's still pigmentation because my real eyebrow doesn't start till like here. So in here it's still pigmented from her doing it, but like every time you wash your face and you exfoliate and you tone, it all wipes off like all down here. I don't have anything left. Like the shape that she made for my eyebrows, I was so in love with. Um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to copy it well. Uh, but so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that at home uh, what things I've purchased for such occasion because obviously I love you but I'm not gonna fly to Germany to get my eyebrows done especially twice so I can go and get them touched up um, but normally they're supposed to last about 18 months is the general recommendation um, and I know most places you go they will uh, numb your eyebrows and she does not do that um it does not hurt as much as people think it does like yes it sounds kind of scary because basically what you're doing is literally just cutting in your skin and then inserting the ink into that cut but it really doesn't hurt that much um the noise if anything while she was doing it is the worst because it it sounds like you're getting sliced up um, but she doesn't numb because, um, it sticks in your skin a lot better if you do not use numbing cream. So I do not have any numbing cream. However, I have done it twice already. The first time was just kind of a little test run and it ended up 
realizing that the ink color that I had bought was way too light for me. It was like a yellow, like it was kind of, it was not good. Um, and then the second round, I bought a brown, like a darker brown, so I mix them together to get my shade. Um, but I got fed up. You can't take a shower for like a week because you can't get your eyebrows wet. And uh, I needed to take a shower. So I just ended up scrubbing them off. So that didn't really take at all. Um, so hopefully this round is going to go better. Uh, I think... I think as gross as it sounds, I'm going to have to press and like cut a lot deeper than I did last time because I really didn't see any lasting things. So hopefully this time goes better. I am very much counting on it. Um, but if, oh, there's the alarm. So there's the five minutes. Um, but if you guys wanted to see that and watch how I do it and maybe learn how to do it on your own, I would definitely stay tuned for that i'm hoping to record that later today so it might not be up until a few days after this goes up but i will definitely be doing that and i will be sure to record it for you guys so yeah uh i'm gonna wait a couple more minutes just to let this all soak in because i keep moving it anyways um but i will be right back and i will peel it off and show you what my nose is looking like and give you guys my opinion Okay, so it has been a few more minutes that I have had this on, so I'm going to take it off, which it is still very, very moist. Um, but it kind of looks like a sheet mask. But, um, so that's my review for you guys. I don't know what this is called, because it's all in a different language, but I know it says Tony Moly up here, so I'm guessing that's the brand. Um, but like I said, I got this from Ulta. It was $3.50. Um, it is a three-step nose mask, I believe is what it's called. Um, so, so let me know what you guys thought about this. If you guys have tried it, if you have any opinions on it. Um, I'm, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think there's a lot of work to be done when it comes to, uh, my nose. So I give it credit for doing anything, really. I think... Everything's been in there for such a long time that it's probably going to be pretty hard to get it all out, especially in one take. Um, I definitely will be repurchasing, and hopefully I don't mess it up again and not get the main issue right there. But I think my nose, it definitely feels a lot smoother. Like, it feels pretty great. Like, I know when you get blackheads on your nose and you, like, go to put on makeup, you can kind of see, like, the blackheads, like not jump out but they're like you can definitely see that they're higher and sticking out more than the rest of your actual skin but i don't know feels pretty smooth right now i'm liking it um so yeah i will let you guys know about that video it, like i said i should be recording it today um i obviously need to go take a shower and fix this bun that's going on since i'm not going to be able to wash my hair for a while um but yeah let me know what you guys thought, and I will see you on my next video. Bye! So, let me guys... Let me guys... Let me... Let me guys... Why do I keep saying that? Ugh!